Oh, well, it's recording, is it? I, I don't generally, I don't really wear hats, but somebody gave this hat. I, I've never worn it, actually. It's all dusty and stuff. So look, I think it's an Australian hat. It's actually, I think it's a really nice hat. Oh, now that I put it on, it's pretty damn tight. Well, let's try this out. Yeah, it's probably a little bit too tight for me, but uh, it would stay on in a, in a storm, I suppose. This might make this a little more amusing. Uh, oh, Self-productions are so vain. Yes, well, I'm practicing Shakespeare. That's my, my thing these days of all the things that I do, but this is the latest uh, soliloquy. I, I work only with Hamlet at the moment. Uh, well, I haven't even spent a year on it yet, so I consider myself quite a novice in every way. But this part is, what is this? This is, um, I can't think what I'm going to do. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes. I, um, well, this is interesting. Um, the sullied, two two sullied flesh would melt, blah, 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 blah. It's really basically, you know, Hamlet's story is quite sad because uh, he is, um, basically his father was murdered by his father's brother. And his father's brother then married his mother, who then became the queen. So here's Hamlet, a prince, who has lost his beloved father, who he loved dearly, and who the people loved. And now he's faced with uh, what happens is that his father's ghost appears to him and tells him what happened. And then he says, you should seek my revenge, son. Yeah, well, that's the story, isn't it? So, well, this part of it, interesting. Pardon, pardon me for burping, if you heard that. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is, this is quite amusing. This freaking hat. It's too tight. I don't wear hats. I used to. I used to wear a cap years ago. Anyhow, here we go. This is for my fun uh, to recite and practice and uh, also to, uh, you know, to make the video and use this little camera I bought, which I don't use enough. So it's all, you know, uh, not killing so many birds with one stone, but embracing many birds with uh, one hug. Something ridiculous. Um, oh, that this too, too sullied flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew, or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Oh, God, God, how weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fie on it, a fie. Tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed, a thing that's rank and gross, and nature possess it merely that it should come to this. But two months dead. Nay, not so long, not two. So excellent a king. That was to this Hyperion to a satyr so loving to my mother that he might not team the winds of heaven visit her face too roughly heaven and earth must I remember why she used to hang on him as if increase of appetite had grown by what it fed on and yet within a month I may not think on it frailty thy name is woman in a little month, ere those shoes were old with which she followed my poor father's body, like Niobe, all tears, why she, even she, O oh God, a beast that wants discourse of reason, but more longer, married with my uncle. My father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules, within a month, ere yet the salt of most unrighteous tears, 
that left the fleshy. In her gallant eyes she married. Oh, most wicked speed to post with such dexterity to incestuous sheets. It is not, nor it cannot come to good. But break my heart, for I must hold my tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs>